Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are checking out the Minis Forum Elite Mini UM700 AMD Ryzen powered mini PC. We will have an overview of the device, put it through its paces with some benchmarks and check out the performance. Let's start with the unboxing. Inside we have the user guide which is in English, German and Chinese languages. Underneath is the UM700 mini PC which I will show in more detail shortly. Under the packaging is the power supply. We include the correct adapter for your country. There are two video cables, a display port and HDMI cable which you can plug into your TV or monitor. And last but not least there is a visa mount and some screws which you can use to attach to your TV or monitor to reduce desktop footprint. On the front is a USB Type-C port which you can use to connect to peripherals including video out to supported displays. There is a USB 3.1 Gen 1 port and a USB 3.1 Gen 2 port. There is a 3.5mm headphone port and a power button. The case is 5.3 by 5.1.8 inches in size, making it ideal for limited spaces. And it is very portable, weighing just 500 grams. On the back are two USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. There is an HDMI and display port for use with dual monitor setups, or you can go triple monitor by using the Type-C port. There are two Gigabit Ethernet ports for fast data transfer. And last but not least, the power supply socket. For wireless connectivity, there is a fast dual band Wi-Fi 6, and Bluetooth 5.1. Upgrading the UM700 is very easy. Simply push down on the two indicated areas to release the mechanism and the lid can be removed. The lid also functions as a 2.5 inch SATA R drive or SSD bay, which you can attach to the lid and connect it to the SATA cable located inside. From here you can upgrade the NVMe storage as well as the RAM. We have step by step guides on how to perform these upgrades on our website. The Minis Forum UM700 has an AMD Ryzen 7 3750H processor which has 4 cores and 8 threads. Its base frequency is 2.3GHz with a turbo frequency of 4GHz. It uses the AMD Radeon Vega 10 graphics processor running at 1.4 GHz, supporting up to 3 displays and DirectX 12. For the memory there are two choices, 16 GB or a massive 32 GB of LPDDR4 RAM. The NVMe PCIe SSD storage is available in 3 configurations of 256 and 512 gigs or one terabyte. The mini PC comes pre-installed with Windows 10 Professional and a fully activated Windows license. This will give you all the latest updates to download and install. As you would expect, day-to-day -day tasks such as web browsing are fast and smooth. You have full access to the Microsoft Store for installing and updating your software. To see the performance of this powerful mini computer, there are some benchmarks we can utilise, which covers the important aspects including processors, disk speed and data transfer. The video has been sped up in places to save time, as they can take several minutes to complete. Starting with PC Mark, this benchmarks general tasks such as word processing documents and spreadsheets, video conferencing, graphics rendering and multimedia. The end score of 3969 is great for a mini PC of this specification. 
3D Mark tests the performance of the CPU and graphics processor. It is worth noting that graphics are not just for gaming. They are also used for video decoding and encoding, graphics editing and right down to web browser page rendering. The final score of 1001 is very good for the specifications on default performance settings. Cinebench tests the performance of the CPU only. In this benchmark we are testing multi-core performance. The end results are great, putting it in the area of 11th generation Intel Core i7 processors. This benchmark tests the performance of the NVMe storage SSD. The average read speed is a blazing fast, just under 1600 megasecond with the write speed averaging at just over 1300 megasecond. The Wi-Fi internet speed pretty much maxed out our internet connection of 300 megs. The mini PC is located on the other side of the room uh, to the access point. The results are expected with download and upload speeds of around 296 and 274 meg a second respectively. Copying over Ethernet from a NAS easily maxed at the 100 megasecond speed of ours. If you have a gigabit NAS then you will have no problem reaching higher speeds. Streets of Rage 4 has a built in performance display which we can test with the graphics on Ultra at 1080p. After playing the game for several minutes, the frames per second were sticking around 60 frames a second which we would expect to see. Overall the UM700 is a very impressive mini PC, especially when compared to the lower specification DMA F5 and UM250 models. The UM700 has amazing performance for day to day tasks such as web browsing, office work, multimedia and gaming. And not forgetting the extremely fast SSD which is perfect if you work with large files. That wraps up this unboxing and demo video for the UM700 Mini PC. You can find more information on the product link and in the description. We hope you found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.